everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be adding way too many ingredients to slime and I love creating these videos so much because it's always so fun to see how the slime is going to turn out. So to start off, I'm going to be adding way too many foam java chips to slime. So I started off by making a glossy slime base. I'm just going to be slowly adding more and more foam java pieces until this slime can't hold any more. end result of adding way too many foam java pieces to slime is a really really awesome and unique texture of slime. It was great for bubble pops. I had so much fun squishing it and it was just so cool to see how many java pieces this slime could hold and it was just really cool. It gave it a really unique texture and it was super squishy. Next ingredient that I am going to be adding way too much of is paint. Now when I use paint to color my slimes I only add a little amount because I don't want to actually change the texture of the slime and I always had a feeling that if I was to add a lot of paint it would do something strange to the slime so I've always tried to be really careful with how much I add. But in saying that I have always been curious as to what would happen if I added too much paint to my glue. So today I am finding out what is going to happen to my slime. So I started off by adding some school glue to a bowl and then I added two whole tubes of blue paint and then I tried to activate the slime and at this point I didn't know if it was actually going to activate just because the glue to paint ratio is so off I didn't know if I was just trying to activate paint at this point and as you can see here the paint is just getting all over my hands but it did actually start to activate. I did need to add quite a bit of activator. It still always stayed a little bit sticky, but it did start to get tough. So I didn't want to add more activator to try and get rid of that stickiness because then it would just rip. But it was a really, really glossy slime. The only downside of this was that it just would get blue everywhere. It was all over my hands. It was all over the table. It's still actually on my hands, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, I'm surprised I actually formed a slime. I didn't think it was going to come together, but it did. Up next, I'm going to be adding too many large pastel foam beads to Clear Putty and I was so excited about this one because I thought it was going to look so pretty with all the pastel beads poking through in the Clear Putty. So I just started off with a container filled with pastel foam beads and then taking some Clear Putty, I just dropped it into the foam beads and started mixing them in.
Now, as this is more of a putty instead of a slime, it did struggle to hold on to the foam beads. So this was about the limit that it could hold, but I was so obsessed with how this turned out. I love these pastel foam beads so much, and I was so happy to finally be able to add them to a clear slime or putty. And I had a lot of fun with this. It was just so pretty, and I loved all the beautiful colors. Next ingredient that I'm going to be adding way too much of is conditioner and I usually add conditioner to my slimes when I want them to be glossy and have a super clicky base but I was always curious as to how the slime would react if you added a lot of conditioner. So usually I add about two tablespoons but today I am going to be adding an entire container of conditioner. So the first thing I did was add some school glue and food coloring to a bowl and then I just started adding the conditioner. Now, while I'm adding the conditioner, I would love to know in the comments below, how do you think this slime is going to go? Do you think it is going to form slime or do you think it's just going to be a major fail? I would love to know your thoughts. I was super surprised by the outcome. At this point, I was thinking this is not going to make slime. It has completely changed the texture. Is there even any glue at this point? It was just mostly conditioner. And as you can see, it is so, so thick. It went from a really, really glossy base to being really really thick like it was kind of a super thick cake batter so then I just started adding activator and at first it started to come together but then it just stopped and I was thinking am I just trying to activate conditioner is there even any glue here to activate so I just kept mixing and mixing and adding more and more activator and as you can see here it is so so sticky it kind of reminds me of a dough like a pizza dough or a cookie dough or something like that so I decided to go in with my hands and just see if I could get this to form at this point I was like this is not going to work I don't think there's enough glue in here it's mostly conditioner but I kept working at it I was determined <laughs> to make this slime work so after adding quite a bit of activator this is what I ended up with the thickest slime ever now the texture of this was very unique I've never seen anything like it it was first of all very very dense it was very greasy and oily it would leave a very oily residue on my hands and that's probably because I added an entire bottle of conditioner now it would also rip really really easily and I had to stretch it super slowly there wasn't very good ASMR it wasn't great for bubble pops it wasn't great for poking and yeah it was a very interesting slime it was very soft and glossy but I don't know I don't even know if I would call this slime it's very strange but it did come together in the end which did surprise me Next, I'm going to be adding too many donut charms to a clear putty because I have, for some reason, a lot of donut charms. I think I've just kept ordering them, not knowing that I already had some, and I had so many, so I decided I would add them to a clear putty. So here are some of the donut charms. They're all different kinds, they're all adorable. So I started off by placing them in the bottom of the container, and then I topped it off with the clear putty. Thank you. 
I love clear putty so much. It's so cool how you can see straight to the bottom of the container and you can see all the donut charms just sitting there and they're really colorful. And I just think it's such a cool effect. It's kind of like you're looking through a glass of water. And yes, I will be sharing my clear slime and clear putty recipe with you soon. I've just perfected it and I'm obsessed with it. So it will be coming soon. So then I just emptied out the entire thing of Buddy. It came out in one piece, which made me really happy. It was super satisfying. And then I just started mixing in the donut charms. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other ingredients that you would like to see added to slime in an unusually large amount. I am having so much fun creating these types of videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!